what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In an extraordinary move that some thought would never come, the Asheville City Council has apologized for the North Carolina city's historic role in slavery, discrimination, and the denial of basic liberties to black residents and get this fam, voted to provide reparations to them and their descendants. What do you think the vote was? They had seven votes. What do you think the split was? What do you think? What do you think? Six to one, five to two, four to three. Wrong, 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 fam. Seven to zero. Unanimous. A unanimous decision. This city may have a chance. Oh, man, it takes so much to pay black people back. Everybody can get paid when they've been wronged. Everybody get a reparation. You get a reparation. You get a reparation. You get a reparation. Well, I don't even know who you are. Y'all just got here, but we're going to give you reparations. Absolutely amazing. Fam, this is well overdue. We're talking about hundreds of years of blood spilling in the streets and in the bedrooms, the living rooms, the kitchens, the factory floors, black people in North Carolina, Asheville, all throughout North Carolina. Yeah, well overdue. Now, the unanimous uh, vote that was passed does not mandate automatic payment. Instead, it will make investments in areas where black residents face disparities. The resulting budgetary programmatic priorities may include but not be limited to increasing home ownership and access to other affordable housing, increasing minority business ownership and career opportunities, strategies to grow equity and generational wealth, closing the gaps in healthcare, education, employment, and pay, neighborhood safety and fairness within the criminal justice system, the resolution reads. Okay, sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like something I could get with, but you know something? Don't nothing beat that green. I still want my green. See, all of these things that they're talking about providing reparations for are things that they're supposed to be doing anyway. They're already supposed to be investing in the poorest neighborhoods. They're already supposed to be trying to have their education up to par. They already should be making sure that all of their citizens have access to affordable health care. They're already supposed to be making sure that their citizens have an opportunity to grow businesses. All of this stuff is th things that they should be doing already. They're already supposed to be having a fair and uh, equal justice system. Cut the check, sucker. Yeah. Y'all holding on to that money tight. Yeah, y'all got it. Cut the check. All of you suckers out there, every single one of y'all who got the power, cut the check. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me tell y'all something. Especially you people out there who got a problem with black people receiving reparations. Do you know that if black people are successful, your community is going to be successful? Your, the greater community in your city is going to be successful? Don't you know a win for black folks is a win for you, dummy? Okay, I'll, I'll take that back. 
Some of y'all ain't really dummies. Y'all just don't really know. You just don't know. And you want to know. You just ain't been, you just ain't heard it from a different angle. You just ain't heard it right. You haven't heard somebody just break it down to you. Imagine having a house and you're showing favor to three of your kids. But then you got three more kids over here you don't show no love to. You don't help them out with their homework. You don't ask them how their day was. You don't buy them clothes. You don't make sure that they're fully nourished. You don't sow into them spiritually. You neglect them. You don't care what happens to them. So what do you think is going to be those kids' chances versus the kids that you actually invest in? The ones who you ask how's their day going. The ones who you hang out with and you teach and you coach. The ones who you make sure that you nourish and make sure that they're fed well and that they are careful about the friends that they make. You know, the ones you sow into spiritually. Which three do you think is going to have a better chance at life? The three that you love on. This is what I'm trying to get people to understand. If you, you can't live in a city, if you want to live in a city that's thriving, you want to live in a city where people, everybody respect everybody and you can go anywhere and not fear for your life just based off your skin color. Y'all scared and worried about what this person might do. You want a city that you can be a proud of? Well, there is no eyesores. You don't have to cover up nothing when the Olympics come to town or a convention come to town. You ain't got to fake clean up. There are no eyesores. You ain't got to act like it's a good city. It's a clean city. It's a fair and impartial city when you're trying to get contracts to come in, contractors to come in, and businesses to come in and build and bring jobs. They look at the city and say, man, this is a robust city. This is a thriving city. This is a progressive city. This is the kind of place that I want to be in. Do you understand? Well, that's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Educated black folks means educated America. Because black folks live in America. And black folks are part of America. Less black men in jail mean more black men at work. Means more a more productive America. A more economically stable, economically stable America. It means more fathers in the home to be there to coach, to teach, to reach their babies. Don't you get it? Is it that hard to get it? Cut the check, sucker. Now, for all of you who just got to America, who say, well, you know, I ain't never owned no slaves. Why should I have to pay you want to come to America and you want to take advantage of everything that America has to offer? You take the good with the bad. Oh, yeah. So any debt that America owe, guess what? You inherited it. Since some of you have a problem with blacks in America receiving reparations for slavery and the detrimental remnants thereof, Perhaps those funds could spare a few cents for remedial history classes. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?